Good evening. This is the Elliott Wave Daily Update for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 for Thursday, October the 3rd, 2024. The markets did not make life any easier today in actually revealing the larger picture. And so it basically remains within the framework for the two counts that I am continually to show. Here in the S&P, I've got it as if we're still going to be dropping lower to put in a minute C wave down to complete minor wave four. So that would suggest that we're in one, two, one, two. And so that hasn't changed. It remains a probability, a possibility. Uh, and what would come next again would still be the same idea that we're going to be dropping off. Now, I did spend some time and I dropped this down to the 15 minute chart so that I could really take a look inside. And it still holds pretty cleanly that if this is a five and it's just a strange larger four and a very complicated, not a complicated, but diagonal with a spike. And when you actually take it down and you look at it on the line chart, it does have a slight different appearance. Granted, we can go one, two, this is a five, that's a three, ABC four, and sort of a diagonal down and full of threes. So I'm going to mark it as such. This is basically three up. So we're looking for a wave two, so that would be A. And this is very tangled up, but it's really turning into an, either an A, B, C, something because we're actually just like a we're looking for the deep of the b and then a c wave up so it could be a b one two one two of a c wave going up so that's moving it putting putting the this would be the sub sub minuet wave one of minuet wave three of sub at wave three, excuse me. And that then is going to be of, one more up, the, this one would be for, we're going up that it is a minute C wave and that it is a minuet wave one. So either this is minuet one, minuet two, and we're breaking down in minuet wave three, which either way, not much more time that we can be spending going up before we need to really go down. And when it does happen, I would expect it to be pretty severe and likely cut through all of this pretty quickly. Now, the other side of that coin, the other count, it would be that we're only up to this degree because this one would be a um, minute third wave up. And that minute third wave began here. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, minuet wave one. So we're in a minuet second wave correction. Here are the fibs for that. So either way, I think, you know, if it is the previous, right, and we're going to go down in a third, it should cut through this pretty quickly. If we're coming down a degree, it still is going to be A, B, and we're in a C wave. So it's going to be one, two, still the same where we're looking for a third. But I would suspect that we do finish the whole thing, the A, B, C, no lower than here. And then we rally strongly. So one is calling for, we kind of maybe finish this and we drop strongly. And the other is basically saying we finish this and we rally strongly. So that's why this zone, these right here, that the market just refuses to go below today, really comes into play in the following manner. We, I, I cannot say with definity 100%, yep, we're going to do that, yep, we're going to do that. That's not my decision, it's the market decision, and it'll be exactly what's going on at the time in terms of are we breaking above or below a particular level that involves then the capital flows, the gamma flows, uh, and the options flows. Uh, is it, you know, there's many factors that are going to choose where support may be. The FIBs will definitely come into play. 
but it'll be other interpretations as to what comes next. So if we if we come down a hold and we see a quick, quick thrust up and out, then somebody's got that, that's going to be the idea, and they're trying to set the direction and basically going through levels that trigger other algorithms to kind of come in and join the party. So that could be one. And either way, here my bottom line is either way, I would just like the market to make it clear because right now when I take it down again, and I, as I discussed with you uh, yesterday, when I take the, the levels down and I'm looking at them individually between, in this case, the SPX, the ES, and the spiders. And it's been in the spiders that I'm seeing that uh, a volatility trigger keeps getting triggered. You know, it, it'll be down and it'll get triggered and we'll go down further. Then, then it sits higher a little bit. Market comes back, takes it out. The market rallies real strongly, real strongly, as it did this morning. When it ran up to, to, to well, in the S&P, you know, when it ran up to the high, first thing this morning, and that was at 57.70. And then turned around and dropped to the low at 57.25. So it was, a, it was a decent drop in the S&P. But still, it on the way up, right, pretty much after the opening, the market triggered the, it was the volatility trigger. And so it was, the, it was actually in the spiders where it all started. And that flurry and the covering and the adjusting, whatever's taking place, takes place market rallies, and then suddenly it was like, nope. And then you get the other side of the coin of, of of orders that were coming in based on, first of all, how the options are trading, but secondly, just overnight orders on, you know, Delta hedging, all kinds of things, but they were sells. And then it goes back down, triggers it again, but to the downside. So, and then just kind of plays right between the points on it now. What I'm making out of this, I'm going to bring it down from that to the 15-minute chart. That's where we're taking a look. That the wave one, right, if we're counting it, even if we're counting it A, B, and this is like one of C, two of C, and then this is two of C, and we're coming down here, that this would have to be a one, and this is a two, and we're dropping now. But, but it would still be in the context of a third wave, but three of a C. So we're still possibly looking for the three to come down into here. We do a four and then a five quick down into here, and then it's done. Tomorrow's expiration. So there's, you know, we have the, we have payroll, we have non-farm payrolls tomorrow. So we know what the employment unemployment rate is going to be. We know all the different, the numbers for the month of September. So again, how much weight wants to be put into that? I don't, I don't know, because what tends to happen now <clears throat> is that the number triggers an algorithm going in one direction, which triggers the uh, the volatility triggers. Now, interestingly enough, you know it 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 is very interesting to see how the market is actually taking all this in and just moving around based on that it's breaking a volatility trigger. So that's kind of my other point. So when we're deciding how we want to trade it. It's not real clean. So I'm down on the 15 minute. That's the longest term I'm looking at on my trading charts. I'm going a five to a five, 15 to a five to a two. And I'm just combining them. And, re, and then I do come out and look at the hourly chart. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's not been real easy. There have been some good moves. So this morning, the moves were clean and triggered by solid to me, indicators that I could work with. And so it was easier to get in, make money and move out and be done. So that part worked. Now, what are we looking at this in terms of the count? I think that either way, either way, either this is A, B, and we're coming one, two, and a three, and a four, and a five. I think we'll end up here. That'll be a C wave. So it's a bigger A, B, C, and there'll be a labeled minuet wave two, and then we'll launch. Right, there'll be a third wave. We'd looking for a strong rally to get going. At least likely get if we're down here, get back above 58 and then hike it on up to 59 and up. And that kind of puts us in an area where you know the, the rally could finish up somewhere above six thousand. And that's an honest number. 
So uh, just when we're looking at some different things, it kind of can come up into there. I don't like right around in there between here and not that one, just a little bit above that. Um, but that would be that would be the upside move. And again, that would be within the context of a minute third wave of minor wave five. So it's a whole different type of a little bit larger picture. In the meantime, we still have the other, which takes us out here, and we come down in the four to finish the four, A, B, and a C. Now, I'm presenting today, leaving where we are coming down in the C wave, and that which also suggests from here that we begin to drop. And in that case, one, two, one, two, we're in the menu, the submenu wet wave three of the minuet wave one of minute wave C. So this is actually also still the beginning. At best, I can say minuet, if it's minuet wave one that I have to put there, this is minuet wave, that would be wave one. So for the downside, we're working on minuet wave one, excuse me. And if I put it there and there, then these would be sub, but still we're doing one, two, and then a one, two of the three. If it's gonna drop, it needs to drop into three. And again, that one, I would be expecting that it's going to break these levels and keep going. So A, the importance of the levels stands for the completion of this move. And if it's just going to turn into a smaller wave two, then we're looking for a stronger rally. Otherwise, I'm looking for it to break and for a continuation to the downside. Now, for trading purposes, look and think about it. If we're going to break these, I believe we should begin to accelerate to the downside. Doesn't mean we won't rally, but we should accelerate without kind of stopping and taking it all back. If they stop and take it all back, then you've got to really consider what it is. And then it could be just that smaller two, and we rally higher under a separate setup. That's kind of where we are in both. We're at a position where both still have additional downside. The depth of the downside is where, where the difference is. Either we're, we're going to stop around 56 or we're going to drop all the way back closer to 5,000. But still, both are projecting a rally back up, either here as well, just how deep we're going to drop first. Unfortunately, that's the reality. All right. So moving averages, they're flat. They're flat. I can go out to the daily, and the daily's like taking a nap here. All right. Everything is just kind of flat, 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 from being pretty strong to flat. So we'll wait. We'll see. And going back to the hour chart, let's go over and take a look at the NASDAQ. Markets have opened, by the way, and they are moving lower. So, again, in this one, I have relabeled to show that it was a 1-2, and this is minuet wave 1 of minute wave 3 going up as a part of that minor 5. Now, under that, because I went a little bit of a deep dive and I had to get inside of all this and figure it out. It was just like threes for days and just like making not a lot of sense unless I could to truly break it down into what it would be on a little bit larger. And here again, same deal. I can flip this over and this is going to be minuet one, minuet two, and we're breaking down inside of the third wave. And this could be wave one of three. So in other words, we could have one, two, one, two so the same count and this again would still be a second wave but just a um a double abc so and there's some that probably could label this something and this would be a w an x y and a z down but that doesn't fit the whole thing but i'm sure or a w eh, i'm not sure w x y Z, I don't know. In any case, double. And there could be a wave two, and then we'd still be expected to, to drop back down. So ABC, wave two, or one, two, smaller one, two of the third, and we're going to drop in the third. That third, I would expect to break these. At least these. And the NASI, those would be the ones associated with the second wave and the third taking us higher. 
So again, if I flip it and leave it here, next move should be one, A, B, C, two, rally. So these do come into play under this one. Looking for the completion of the B wave, slide back lower, and the C wave holding here. Now, other side of the coin, I think still, even if we're going to put it um, one, two, one, two, it is one, and the two is still in motion, also still needing that C wave up to finish that. And so that would then put this at the, these fibs into, into play at uh, 20,140, 141. And the 618, 1.618, I, I'm, I'm including it, but that's not something I would look for, not in this uh, position. And so, but I'm there because it should present some resistance. So I put it there. Otherwise, I really would be looking for maybe, maybe as high as 20,040, 41. And then we start to come down again in a C wave, which would take us back into here. Now, if it's a one, two, one, two, then these are going to break. So it'll be pretty quick. We'll be able to determine, you know, what goes and what doesn't. So, and it will come down hard in a five. All right. Looking at moving averages for the NASDAQ. Same deal. Oops. Uh, even more so asleep. But we shall see tomorrow. Uh, expiration, of course. And also, we have the U.S. non-farm non payroll unemployment rate, hourly wages, et cetera, and a couple of Fed people out speaking later. So the news comes out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, and then that's it. The rest is up to the expiration. So the next Elliott Wave Daily update will be on Monday, August the 7th. Yeah, I guess so. Wow, time flies. And the next uh, weekend or weekly update will be on the 5th.